do we have free will? And so here's something very fascinating because this question is typically being presented from a certain vantage point. It's implicit in the question that somebody somewhere is asking this question. And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. We do have the ability to make choices. We have the ability to make good choices and reap the consequences from that. And so there is very much this idea that we are in control of our destiny. We do influence our destiny. And we do that by being wiser beings and making better choices from our own free will. So this is, I think, a good understanding to have in the reality which we find ourselves in, which is basically, you could say, finite beings navigating a finite reality. If we were to, however, step outside of this container, and step into pure consciousness and then look at the question, it looks very different. And we can go there and just to see what might that be. So firstly, in the infinity of pure consciousness, which is beyond space-time, identity, vibration, the question of free will doesn't arise because there is no separate being in infinity. Infinity is this one thing. So in fact, since there's no separate being, there is no question of a separate being with a free will. So the question kind of disappears in that ultimate infinite existence. Even if we were to look at how might this container look like from the perspective of infinity? So now we're stepping into the third option, uh, which is the infinite perspective on the finite. So first we looked at the finite perspective on the finite, where we said, yes, free will is there. Then we looked at the infinite perspective, where it's like there is no question of free will. Now when we say infinite looking into the finite, when the infinite looks into the finite, it is looking at the finite from outside of space-time. And when somebody from outside space-time looks into space-time, they can see the entirety of space and time. And they can see the entirety of how a being is navigating that space and time. So even though for us it looks like we are moving into the future, and that's where free will uh, is going to take effect because I make a decision, something is going to happen in the future. Since infinity is looking from the outside, it can see the entire thing in one shot. And so again, to infinity, there, it looks like a being has free will, but it also already knows how everything, everything is going to play out. So in a sense, for infinity, free will doesn't exist again. So it only really exists for somebody who's inside the container and trapped in the container. And so free will can be ultimately looked at from multiple points of view, and they're all valid. If you're a finite being, you cannot just throw away that vantage point and say, I'm going to take the perspective of infinity because you have to navigate this reality. At the same time, you can empower yourself from the infinite perspective because you can bring in a really transcendental view of this reality and you can maximize how you apply free will. So you don't have to apply free will as a small being. You can apply free will as a expansive being which naturally opens up the possibilities that lie ahead of us. So that's something to ponder about. <laughs> when you choose light, life becomes increasingly joyful 
purposeful, and inspired. I invite you to join me to explore the realms of light, the infinite possibilities that light offers.